Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to update you on my lotion project pan. This is a short-term project that I started in September and it's going until the end of the year. So this is my second update. So if you missed the intro and update number one, I will link those below if you'd like to catch up. I have made some really good progress this month. I have finished two items and everything else I made significant progress on. I've also decided to roll one new item in. Uh, it's something that I think I'll definitely be able to finish by the end of the year, but I really just want to finish it off. So I started this project with 10 items and by update number one I had finished four of those. So last month we were left with six that I've been working on. I'm just going to go in the same order that I've been uh, going in since the start. So the first one is the Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter. Still got a lot of product left in here. I'm still not sure if I'll finish this. A lot of you guys told me last month that you think I can finish everything by the end of the year and I was like ooh, maybe I can. I think this will be the hardest out of all of them to finish. Um, but I have, you can see, I've dug all the way to the bottom, and so I think that if I use this every single day, I can finish it by the end of the year, but I don't know if that's going to happen, because I haven't been using it every day up until now. I've been using it maybe a couple times a week. So I'm going to really try to put my mind to this, and hopefully by the next update, which will be the finale. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this will be done. If not, I think it'll be close. Another body lotion I have is the Nubian Heritage Raw Shea Butter Body Lotion. I've been storing this upside down. Again, haven't been using this every single day. I did decant some of it into a small travel container that I keep in my purse and use as a hand cream. This bottle is starting to feel really light, so I'm thinking that even if I don't completely finish this lotion by the end of the year, which I don't think I will, I'll at least only have it in this bottle and I'll be able to recycle this before I move. By the way, a big reason why I'm doing this project is because I am moving um, in the beginning of December and so I wanted to clear some things out so I don't have to um, haul a bunch of stuff with me when I move. So um, this bottle is not coming with me. I may have to cut it open because it gets very like, I don't know, it's just not easy to get it out of here, especially when it starts getting low. So um, I'm hoping to only have whatever's left in this container. So it's very difficult for me to show you any kind of visual progress on this because the label covers most of it and the lotion is like all stuck in the top and the bottom. It's, it's kind of just, it's a thick lotion. So I apologize that I can't really show you any progress. I marked it here the first time, but that was honestly just like a, a, a guesstimate. And I would, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably about here now, right where the label ends. Um, but I'm not positive about that. So one thing that I finished, this is exciting, I did finish the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Renewal Cream. And this is a pretty big tub of face cream. I'd had this since, I'm trying to remember when I bought this. I think it was maybe in like February or March of this year and I've been using it pretty regularly as a night cream since then. Um, so I am finally done with it. I really did use it mostly on my face. I think there was there were maybe a couple times that I used it on the backs of my hands, but for the most part, I just used it as a face cream. Of course, I brought it down my neck as well. It's one of those face creams where a little really does go a long way, and you can apply too much to where it won't even like blend in. So um, I had to take it pretty slow with this one, but glad to be done with that. So the other face cream I'm working on is the Fleur and Bee Creme de la Cream, and this is also getting really close to being done. It's kind of a small bottle. This is. 1.5 ounces, whereas this Derma E one is 4 ounces. So this one's going a lot quicker. I have started scraping out the bottom. This, I probably have another like week's worth of use out of this, if that, and that's only using it in the nighttime. So um, that'll certainly be done very soon, um, for sure by the finale, but if not in the next couple of weeks. So, whoa. But I really do like this face cream. I think I actually even like it better than the Derma E one. Another thing I finished, I'm so happy to to be done with this. This is the Mineral Fusion Mineral SPF 40 Moisturizer. I cut it open and I just finished it today. I ended up using what was left on my face and also on my body because I was like, I knew I was filming this video today and I was like, I have to be done with this today. I'm ready. And there was only a little bit left in the bottom. So happy to be done with this. It is just, it's not my favorite product. I don't think it's the worst face sunscreen in the world, but it's very thick, kind of sticky, extremely dewy. Um, not something I'd repurchase, so very happy to be done with this and I'm glad that I do not have to take this with me when I move. I can just throw it in the trash and forget about it. I tolerated it and I, at some times I even did enjoy it, but I'm ready to be done now. <laughs> the last thing left from last month was the Fleur and Bee Eyes Eyes Baby Anti-Aging Eye Cream. I'm also making some good progress on this. This is the only eye cream I have left. You can see I've really 
dug out a good portion of the bottom there and most of it is really just in the sides. Very nice rich eye cream. I do really like it. Only complaint is it has a lavender fragrance. Oh, by the way, I do want to mention since they are apparently like the FTC laws are getting stricter, both of these Fleur and B items were sent to me in PR. Everything else I purchased with my own money. I, I also think I might not finish this by the end, um, but if I don't, I'll be very close. And if I don't, it's okay because this is the last eye cream I have. At the beginning of this project, I also had the e.l.f. illuminating eye cream and I did already finish that one. At that time I had two eye creams, so now I'm left with one. So it's okay with me if I don't finish this by the end of the year, but I'm really glad to be seeing some progress on it um, because it's not one that I love just because of that fragrance. So those are all the existing products. So like I said, really happy to be finished with both of these items. By the way guys, my empties bin is filling up. I have been on a roll using things up. It just so happens that I was at this point where a lot of my products were getting close to being done, like all at the same time, and I'm moving soon. So it was great timing. Um, really excited to be clearing some things out, using them up so that I don't have to just throw them away or get rid of them. Definitely look forward to a pretty big December empties. I'm really happy about that. But those two are done. And like I've said before, this is not a rolling project. In fact, I didn't roll anything new in last month and I wasn't planning on rolling anything new in, but since we're only left with four products, I figured it would be nice to add just one more product in. I would roll in more, but honestly I don't really have that many more things to roll in. But one thing that I do want to just power through and finish is this Trader Joe's face and body sunscreen lotion. Since I'm done with this sunscreen, I am left with my Acure Radically Rejuvenating SPF 30 cream, and then I did just recently buy the Crave Beauty Beat Shield. So now I don't have to worry about running out of sunscreen before I go, but this I do want to finish. It's almost gone anyway. There's a lot of products stuck in the top, so I'm going to have to use my beauty spatula for this. And then there's some down here too. This I actually really do like on my face, and it's great because it is fragrance-free, and it has a nice glow to it, but it's not super greasy. It's very lightweight. Honestly, it reminds me of the Super Goop everyday sunscreen which is also meant for face and body except that this one is fragrance free so I'll probably mostly use this on my face and just on my body whenever I need a body sunscreen but yeah I just want to finish this I hope to be done with it in the next couple weeks if I finish it um, before I move it'll be in my next empties video so I'm hoping this won't even make it into the finale <laughs> I'm hoping to just have it done before I move and if so you'll see it in my next empties video so yeah that seemed like a pretty short update because the products in this project are dwindling, which is good. That's the goal. <laughs> so definitely look forward to my finale at the end of the year. And yeah, this has just been a really fun project. I really just did it because I was realizing that I had a lot of these lotions and cream type products that I just wanted to finish. So I know a lot of you have also joined in and have been doing a similar project yourself. So let me know how it's going. And yeah, I think that's all for today. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.